Cartoon recaps here. Today I will be recapping the movie called, Dragon Nest, Warrior's Dawn. Spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy. The movie begins in a land called Alteria. It was divided among humans, elves, dragons, and monsters. Few years ago, the humans and the elves joined forces together and defeated the dragons and the monsters, and trapped them in the Dark Mountains. Inside the Dark Mountains, evil started to develop and grow from a powerful gem that is inside the chest of a sleeping black dragon. In the recent years, humans and elves started to fight for territories. And because of this, they cannot see the common enemy and the greater evil coming their way. Back to the present, the princess of the elves later notices the danger from the dark mountains, and the only way to protect themselves is to find the humans, and reunite with them again. A confident adventurous human boy called Lambert has been chased by some beast in the forest. He jumps off a huge mountain hoping he loses trace of them, but it turns out that they are everywhere around the forest. His two dogs are able to save him from two attacking beasts, and he quickly uses the opportunity to head back to the village to warn everyone that beasts are heading towards their village. As he goes out to warn more people, the beasts are really much this time, and are surrounding him. As they are about to kill him, a huge arrow falls from the sky and kills some of the beasts and thereafter, it takes Lambert and his dog inside a flying ship. Inside the ship, they are confronted by a warrior and the captain of the ship called, Barnack, who saved their lives. Barnack sees the young boy with a wooden sword trying to defend himself, and promises to buy him a real sword if he is able to give a single blow. He keeps fighting Lambert and suddenly defeats him. Lambert lies on the floor pretending to be dead, and as the warrior comes closer to him to confirm, Lambert stands up with speed and manages to give him a blow. Barnack then agrees to fulfill his promise to buy him a real sword. On the ship Lambert sees the most famous dragon hunters called, Geraint and Geraint's sister called, Argenta. He is so amazed, having to meet those real-life heroes in person. The elf princess known as Nerwin and her companions finally meets with the human king, and begs for an alliance to defeat the dragons and the beasts. But the king couldn't trust the elves no matter how they tired to convince him. Barnack proceeds to fulfill his promise by taking Lambert to a really good blacksmith, to forge a real sword for him. Lambert is offended that Barnack is buying him a smaller sword instead of a bigger one, and as he argues with him, he accidentally hits an elf girl called, Leah, who slaps him, thinking he did it on purpose. She's one of Princess Nerwin companion who came to visit the king. She felt unsafe around the humans and runs away. While Lambert chases after her expecting an apology for the slap. He chases her until they get surrounded by few beasts. They both team up without a choice to kill the beasts. But unfortunately, it turns out that there is more of them, and as the beasts are about to devour them, the famous dragon killers, and his sister comes to their rescue. Suddenly Lambert sees a really huge beast heading towards them and attacks it, to show the dragon hunter his skills but as he tries to pierce the beast, his sword shattered into pieces. Luckily for him, the king armies are able to kill the beast and quickly tighten the security in the village. The person in charge of the imperial army is a man called, Velskud, who is an old friend of the famous dragon hunter, Geraint. Velskud and the rest of the warriors later meets with the king to also prove to him that the beast and the dragons are real, and pleaded with him that if they don't do anything soon, they will all be in danger. This time, the king finally gives up his doubts and finally made an alliance with the elves and as well tells them to summon their troops. Finally, the elves and the humans are able to reunite together again, to fight against the beasts and the dragons. The king dined with them, and they are all give their suggestions on how to defeat the beasts and the dragons. The dragon warrior suggests that if they must make the dragon powerless, they must have to pull out a powerful gem out of his chest. Later that night, a dark elf called Princess Elena meets with Velskud, and brainwashes him by telling him that if he gets the power gem for himself, he will be the most powerful person on earth and will also be king. Immediately, Velskud kills the king, in other to join the warriors with his secret motive of having the power gem for himself. Lambert and Leah also joins them too on the mission. Lambert had also traded his dogs for a bigger sword for the mission. His plan to, to successfully fulfill the mission, and earn enough gold get his lovely dogs back. Under the cover of darkness, the crew travel to the dark mountains on Barnack's ship. Unfortunately for them, lightning strikes the ship. As Barnack is trying to put the ship in control, Lambert tries to retrieve his falling sword that slipped from his hand, but he mistakenly disables the ship wheels. The ship crashes and the crews are forced to continue their journey on foot. On the way, the group meets with the protector of the dragon and beast territory, who sees them heading towards the Black Mountains. And as it's about to warn the dragons and the beasts, the group started to fight with it to prevent it from doing so. After a long fight, Lambert is able to get hold of it and afterwards, they killed it and continued their journey. 
With the time Lambert and Leah are spending together, Leah started to trust Lambert, and they both start to fall in love. The group finally reaches the Black Mountains and Geraint is able unseals the gate. As soon as they enter the Dark Mountains, the Guardian of the Dragon Nest and other beasts started to attack them. The whole group manages to escape by collapsing the exit, to prevent the beast from getting to them. Suddenly, the group sees the King Armies, which is led by a man called, Kak who proclaims war on the beasts. And afterwards, he charges with his men with full speed and attacks the armies of the beasts. During the war, the Black Dragon awakens, and as the group sees this, they are so disappointed that they didn't arrive in time, to pull out the gem off the dragon chest before it awakened. Now all their efforts is in vain. Suddenly a large group of beasts started to charge towards them, and the group had no choice but to fight and defend themselves. Unfortunately for them, the beasts are too many for them to fight. So they all make their escape and Barnak is able to block the roads. Soon enough, Bernak realizes that he forgot Lambert and Leah in the battle. Lambert in the battle is already overpowered by the beast but is rescued to Leah. Suddenly two larger beasts intercepted them, and Lambert is total helpless towards the large beasts attacking him. As for Leah, with her great skills in archery, she is able to bring down the beast attacking her. As she is about to kill it, she sees a beast about to kill Lambert, and changes her target towards the beast but unfortunately for her, the beast she was attacking gives her a killing blow. Lambert is so infuriated as he sees the poor Leah, who had sacrificed her life to save his. With anger, Lambert rushed towards the beast, and uses all the strength he had to kill the beast that killed Leah. Barnak, Nerwin, Velskud, Teramai, and Karakul goes back to save Lambert, and they all engage in combat with the beasts again. While Lambert holds Leah's corpse. Geraint and Argenta also arrives. And as they see their allies been surrounded by beast, Geraint had no choice but to reveal his secret identity, by transforming into a gold dragon and other to assist the rest of them. The group is scared when they see Geraint as a dragon, but Argenta convinces them that it's just Geraint and he is still on their side. Geraint transforms into human and apologizes to all of them for not revealing his secret earlier, and he explains to them that they are the good dragons with the mission to protect the world. Suddenly Black Dragon shows up, and Geraint transforms back into a dragon and attacks the Black Dragon. As Lambert is still mourning Leah, he sees the Black Dragon and comes to realization that the Black Dragon gem can kill and can also give life. So he believes that if he can kills the Black Dragon, he will be able to save Leah. Immediately he joins the rest of the group in the battle. The group are so afraid and demotivated because they believe the Black Dragon is too powerful for them to defeat. But Lambert boldly sees the Black Dragon, and pounces on it in hope to remove the gem from its chest to save Leah. Princess Nerwin also joins Lambert and Geraint in the fight, by shooting her magic arrows at the dragon. Suddenly the rest of them are also motivated to join. Their target is to pull out the purple gem from the black dragon, because it's the only way to defeat it. The team are able to combine their powers towards the black dragon, while Lambert jumps up a cliff and purse the dragon's body, while Geraint is able to use its distraction to finally pull out the gem from the dragon's chest, which kills it instantly. Lambert hurries to Geraint and begs him to allow him to use Black Dragon Gem to bring Leah back to life. Geraint believes no one can control the Dragon Gem powers, so he allows Lambert to use his own gem instead, while he uses the Black Dragon Gem for support. He tells Lambert to be quick as Black Dragon Gem can corrupt him. Lambert uses Geraint's gem on Leah's body. Velskut attacks Geraint and takes the gem from him. He reveals his true motive by using the Black Dragon Gem for himself, so that he can rule the world. The group tries to beg Velskud to stay away from the gem, if not it will corrupt him. Velskud at this point isn't able to control the power of the dragon gem and as he is about to attack Geraint, Lambert intervenes by throwing his sword, preventing the blow. Lambert immediately returns Geraint's gem back to his body, and as the team is too weak to fight, he is left alone to face Velskud. Suddenly the black dragon gem is able to corrupt Velskud, unable to do anything, the gem transforms into a monster. Velskud must be killed before he transforms into a dragon. It turns out that the gem Lambert used on Leah was able to bring her back to life. As Velskud defeats Lambert and is about to finish him off, an arrow from Leah saves him, and Lambert uses the chance to pierce Velskud through the chest. Velskud apologized to Geraint after realizing the corruption of the gem, and throws himself to death. Leah surprises Lambert with a kiss. Lambert reveals Leah that he finally found what he is fighting for. Fortunately for them, Ships from the army are able to arrive to pick them up. Barnak is devastated that his ships and all his money is gone. As for Lambert, he able to get enough money to buy his dogs back, and that was how the movie ended. Thank you for watching guys. If you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel. 
and keep watching. Bye.